starts. Let's see, is my life working? Is my internet working? Yes or no? Okay. Yo, can y'all see me right now? Hi, what's up? Let's see. So I'm having this interview with uh, Hip Hop House with Amber. However, um, for some reason, our live connection didn't work so well. Hopefully, this way around it works. Let me see. I got the invitation. Hip Hop. Let's get her in, see if it works. I see myself now. That's nice. <laughs> And Amber is there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yay! Okay. Is it working? <laughs> awesome. There we go. Yay. Can you see me? Yeah, I see you. Perfect. I see you too. Oh, wow. Okay. So I guess that was it. Nice. Thanks, Leo. Hi, babe. Hi. How have you been? Can you show me your nail? The one that's, the one that's not there? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I have these ones. <laughs> mm hmm Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> and then I have these ones. Oh. <laughs> oh, but wait. Okay, so oh I mean it's a mix. It's it's a different vibe. <laughs> yeah. You could make it work. These popped off. These are short for a reason. They popped off. Yeah, these ones popped off. It's probably because of your whacking. That's they what popped happens. Off. It, it just happens. It's quarantine life. You know, not all the, the nail salons have been open. Luckily, they just opened. So my appointment is literally uh -huh. after this. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, fu it's funny how uh, in this time, the, uh, the hairdressers as well as like something like the nail salon is the things that people mostly miss. It was really funny to me to see people run after uh, uh, toilet paper and hairdressers. Like, you would, you would think it would be something else. Like, for me, for instance, it's uh, cinemas. Like, I really miss going to the cinemas right now. But it's just funny to see that everyone has, like, their own thing that they really, really missed in this time. Can you still see me? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty lucky because um, Father Vineyard, well, Ellie, who teaches at Hip Hop House, who took mm -hmm. over my voguing classes. He actually is a nail technician, so. Oh, okay, so he was lucky, nice. So, you know, I'm pretty taken care of, luckily. But this was, you know, a hazard accident, yes. <laughs> An unfortunate accident, okay. <laughs> but it is a trip, like my, my um, like I know I have some family, well, family in the States, and they're all talking about like, it needs to end, and we need our haircuts, and we need this, and I'm just like, oh God. Right, it's a lot. You're laggy for me. Let's see. Are, is she laggy for, for the for, for the people? <laughs> for the others too? Or is it just me right now? Sorry? Uh, you're sorry. starting to lag a lot for me, actually. Like, um, you was perfect before, but now it's kind of hard. Yeah, she's glitching. Okay, so other people also see you glitch at the moment. Okay, I'm moving. <laughs> this is such a... At least I'm staying optimistic, you know. Could be worse. I feel better yeah, now. Yeah, we got this. We got this. All right. Okay. Well, let's yeah. just, you know. Yeah. Everybody, we oh. are back. Let's just get this show on the road. Shall we, darling? Damn, I didn't hear that last part. What did you say? Oh, I said, let's just get the show on the road before it starts glitching again. <laughs> Which is now, but let's do this. <laughs> right. All right, guys. Out. Well. We are back. We are here. And we're live and direct with Hip Hop House. I'm Amber. This is Kevin. What's goody? Hi. <laughs> hey. It's been freaking years and years and years and years and years and years. I know. It's crazy. Since we actually like got to spend time and like hang out and even like even just at an event. It's also been ages. Mm -hmm. Um for those who don't know, like, yes, I know Paradox from when he was a little baby. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> I was already scared that he was going to start about this. <laughs> of course, you know I have to. As a cute oh, God. little baby. 
And the funny thing is I had like this silly nickname for him and he oh, was God. not feeling it at all. <laughs> <laughs> and so like when he was really little, this is, can I, there he is. There oh, he hell. Is. She put it, oh, she pulled it up too. <laughs> there it is. That little tender. Oh, no. Oh no, she pulled it up too. Oh my god. <laughs> shark? Was it Shark Tail? Shark Tail? Yeah. What was his name? What was his yeah. name? Yeah. I don't know. His, what was his name? Yeah, like, see it, they get it. That for me is little paradox when he was little. That's how <laughs> I remember. And now. Paradox is grown. See, see, look, they even they even still think it. Lo he looks like you. Well, oh, we've hell. all grown up. Whoever, oh, whatever. <laughs> Let me just chill. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna roast nobody in the feeds right now. <laughs> it's me. You know, this is what we do when it, when I'm the host. It's all fun. So, um, so his name is Oscar Par Parody. You didn't call me Oscar, Oscar. though. You, you didn't call me Oscar, though. <laughs> no, I didn't, because I think I called... Didn't you call... I, I don't even want to say it, because I feel like I know what you called me, but I don't want to say it, but I guess I'll say it just because <laughs> it is real. Uh, How about I wasn't it Guppy or something? I wasn't going to say it, but yeah, I was like, you... Oh, you give me like yeah, a, see? a Guppy. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's what it was, guppy but it's, it's okay. Bit. So, yeah, yep. our, you know, it was years and years and years ago. And Paradox was a little guppy back then, and I watched him <laughs> grow up and take over the fucking world, doing what he does best, and changing the whole game. <laughs> so it's so well, I'm happy you put that behind it, because I don't want no, no one calling me guppy now. Like, that's, that's only for Amber. Like, that's not going to be a thing. <laughs> it's all a thing of the past now. Happy that we can bring it out. Ah, so I see that we have already questions. So anybody who's watching, if you have some questions, please put them down in the um, in the little question box so we can get to them later. I don't want to miss them and I can't scroll back. I have three rounds. That's basically how this is going to work. We have dun, 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 dun. We have a would you rather round, you know, just to break the ice. Okay. Maybe. No, you're glitchy. No. I didn't hear what you say. Wait, wait. You're glitching. Okay, can you start again? You said we have uh, the would you rather round, and after that, I didn't hear it anymore. Ah, yes. So we have the would you rather round. After that, we're going to have artistic and lifestyle questions. Ooh. After that, we're mm. going to go to a secret challenge and get to know you better. And then after we're going to take questions from the audience. So if you have the questions, put them in the question box because I'm not going to be able to uh, catch them out, catch them again. Yes? Bam. Here we go. Okay. I'm bad at this. Let's go. <laughs> You're going to be great at this. I got my little bell. First round. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a strong bell. All right. That's a very that strong bell. Number seven. <laughs> it's number seven. Are you the type of person that pours milk in before the cornflakes, or are you the one that puts the cornflakes in before the milk? Uh, I'll put the cornflakes in before the milk because then I can gauge better how much cornflakes I'm using. Otherwise, if I pour the milk first, then I have to pour the cornflakes after, and maybe I have too much cornflakes. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want that. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. See, that makes perfect Same? sense. Same? You, you feel me? Right? That, yeah, perfect <laughs> sense. Because I, when I meet people who do it the other way around, it doesn't make sense to me. But we still love you guys. Oh, okay. man, I'm happy. <laughs> okay, I did this. I, I guess I'm good at this. Okay. You're great. You're good. All right. Um, number 15. Oh, would you, would you rather always feel like you're about to sneeze and cannot? Or Ooh. have the hiccups for the rest of your life. 
damn. Uh, let me see. Yes, that's really terrible. Both of them are terrible feelings. Uh, I guess I'd rather feel like I'm about, no. Uh, I guess in this time, I'll go for the hiccups because if people see that I'm about to sneeze the whole time, they're just gonna run for me the whole time because of like the situation right now, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Just because, so just because yeah. of the situation now, you choose to. Yeah. Choose. Right, and it'll yeah. just become part of your life. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, it's yeah. you know, I can, I can deal with that, I think, <laughs> somehow. Let's do another one. Bam. Again, for anybody who has the questions, make sure that you put them in the question box down below because I see a lot of great questions popping by, and I know this one is a talented, you know, Ding, ding. So you want to make sure that you get those questions in there. Make sure you put them in the box so we don't miss them. All right. Would you rather <clears throat> live okay. until you're 200, but oh. look like you're 200? Oh, okay. Or <laughs> would you rather look like you're 25, but then your life ends at 65? At 65? Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, can I ask a question about it? Or sure. should I just answer? It? Okay. Do, will I also feel like I'm 200? See, that was my question, too. Let's say right? you don't. Let's say you don't. Uh, oh, this is hard. I think everyone everyone has like the same problem. You don't want to see like the you don't want to lose the people around you. You know what I mean? Like, because you're gonna have like almost like three lifetimes, so you lose people around you and stuff like that. But then on the other hand, you got time to do something amazing. But uh, it's tough. I, I, oh my gosh! I think I'm gonna go for a sixty sixty five. 65 yeah right yeah yeah I see because some people also responding they're like i still want to look sexy <laughs> <laughs> bro okay i don't i don't really care about that but for me it's more more of a thing where you know you grow up with so many people and then you lose them you know all of yeah. them and when you're and wait when you're like 100 or like let's say when you're like 150 who are you going to be friends like you're going to only have old people as friends because, like, the younger people are not going to chill with you at a certain point. They will, but not, like, in the same way. So you don't have, like, people to chill with like that. If you, if you can still dance the way you do now as an old man, I'm sure you'd make lots of friends. <laughs> true. No, that's, that's very true. That, that should work. Mm, I'm going to still go for 65. Okay. That's, that's, yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a short life. But, uh, no, wait, but my kids. Okay, whatever. I, I made my choice. <laughs> You made, made your choice. choice. Next round. I'm making it short and quick because I see so many questions from the audience and I want to make sure to get them in. Uh -huh. so. Wait, I got to do this for a moment. Okay, cool. Safe. Because I don't want to live till 65. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Knock on wood. All right. So let's put these questions back in here. Next round is artistic rounds. Artistic rounds. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, guys. We're going to get to your questions. I will. There's a question round. So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Number 15. I can't what hear you. What advice would you like uh, to give you're yourself? You're loading from right 10 now. Years ago. Give me a second. Uh, you were loading, so I didn't hear your uh, uh, question, actually. What advice would you give yourself 10 years ago? So, like little guppy that I met, what would you uh -huh. say yeah. to? What would you say to guppy? Uh, I would I would tell I would tell him to start like really working on his body uh, like his health uh, get those muscles strong especially of the ankles because if I would have known that beforehand I would not have been in certain situations I got into like the last three years you know so it's definitely just mainly my health that I would focus on the dance thing and and the whole that journey is okay you can do your thing and you'll learn as along the way but the health part uh, that is something that I should have invested more time into and should have learned more about. And if I would have done that earlier, I would have been able to prevent certain things from happening. So that's definitely the advice that I would give myself. All right. That's good advice. Yeah. 
think I'd also yeah. give myself similar advice. <laughs> right? I think a lot. Of, I think a lot of people would. <laughs> it's, uh, like, why didn't I? Strike? You just don't expect it. You really don't. <laughs> you really don't expect certain things. You know, like I myself, I got injured during a class teaching. I wasn't doing anything like crazy. And that's how a three-year injury started. So you never know what happens. And uh, if I knew it was that easy and that, like, that quick and that literally a second can change your whole life, yeah, I would have probably worked on it a little bit better. Yeah. I, I, it's crazy how actually it's maybe a lot of dancers um, relate to this. Mm. Most of all my injuries as, has actually happened from the most retarded things. Literally, me oh, cheating. I didn't hear or, what you said. Wait, can you, can you say it again, please? Both yeah, your injuries? No, like my injuries actually happened with the most random, stupid thing. Right? How? I don't get it. Like, hey, can you get my back? And then like, fuck, I'm stuck. <laughs> uh -huh. It's weird. It's really, really weird. It's almost ironic how it happens to everyone in that way. <laughs> so almost crazy. ironic. Stretch, take care of that, that body. Trust me. Trust. You want to... You wanna and use resistance body. bands for everything, <laughs> basically. Oh, yeah? Does that help? Yeah. Yeah, it helps for your mobility as well as uh, the strength of, like, smaller muscles in your body. So when we do certain things like push-ups, sit-ups, and whatever, we focus a lot on, like, the bigger portions of the muscles or the bigger, like, I don't know how to say that, muscle groups. But then yeah. the smaller muscle groups, uh, uh, need some work too and if you can can like focus more on them you can actually like strengthen things such as your joints a lot better as opposed to focusing on like the big workout things so oh, resistance can help with that a lot actually nice so like when you're doing like push-ups or anything even to wear uh resistance ones here for example you could i myself use it mainly on my ankles because my ankles are weak that's where okay. i focus on mostly but it's like any resistance band work helps you to really target muscles that you normally don't target. Yeah. Uh, when you push, like for instance, when you push up, uh, you're mainly focused on like a, uh, how do you say that, horizontal, vertical, a vertical movement. And there's like a vertical, uh, let's say, stress put on your body, but not so much right. in other directions. So that means that it, yeah. you kind of miss a lot of groups of muscles and a lot of little things that you could do. So yeah. There you go. There we go. Um, <laughs> yeah. For that, let's see the next one. Ooh, it's number seven. I like number seven. Yeah. Which? Okay. What? What do you want to learn now? Painting. Painting. I really, Painting. really, really want to learn. Yes, I really want to learn how to paint very well. Because uh, I, I feel like, um, when it comes to movement. It happens and then it goes. And then like, it's not documented. It, it just like, that's be the beauty about it, of course, that it's a moment and I don't know, it's gone as quick as it is created. But then when it comes to like a painting, you can actually document emotion, you know? And that to me is really interesting and something that I would like to get into a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. work, work. Okay, have you painted anything? Nope. Yes, I did, but I'm I'm super bad, so <laughs> I'm like really, really bad. I'm gonna have to throw that in I'm gonna have to throw that into the challenge round, guys. I'm gonna have to throw oh, it. Oh gosh. In. <laughs> I know. And that's gonna probably be a portrait of me, so <laughs> No wait, wait. I'm, I'm doing only abstracts. So <laughs> I'll just do an abstract of you. <laughs> Oh, there's too many questions I have for you because I'm like, I see all the things there. How would you like to be remembered? Uh, oh, this is, this, this is controversial. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> you know, I love controversy. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I know. I'm, wait, I know you do. <laughs> I love we all know you do. Uh, how I want to be remembered. Uh, uh, let's see. I feel like, first of all, I would want to be remembered by my friends and family different than other people. 
So for a different reason, if you understand what I'm saying. So I, I don't, I actually never thought about, never thought about that, how I want to be remembered by my friends. I think for my friends, it would have, I would just want to be uh, someone they can uh, pull themselves up to, you know, someone that is there for them to, to, um, to have the, the feeling that it's okay to dream and do whatever they want to do and go for something because they have friends who do the same thing, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. for instance, uh, Brandon steps, uh, who lives really close to me. Of course, you know, Brandon, um, he's doing, he's doing camera work right now. And that really inspires me as well as a person, because I have someone around me and next to me that has love for, uh, for what he does. And that's just really nice to have. Cause it makes you feel that it's okay to be yourself in a way. And yeah. I would just want to be the same for my friends of how I would want to be remembered in general mm, by the world is by the, by the world oh god here we go is hopefully as uh well someone one who who really 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 strived to uh uh build and i'm not gonna say change but um help build like the the perspective of hip-hop freestyle in general um because right now the perspective, uh, I'm not going to say it's narrow, but it's, it's uh, um, not everyone has every uh, angle yet. You know, everyone has their own angle and that's what it is. But we're not as broad as being yeah. able to like, f yeah, figure out what other people see in the dance uh, besides our own friends in a way that happens a lot. And I would love to be able to break those boundaries and just be more of a canvas for all the different variations of hip hop freestyle you could see. Artistic, battle wise, cypher wise, uh, cultural and so on. Yeah, I guess I guess that. Yeah. But I see but I feel like you are sense? doing that, you know, at least sorry. Oh, I asked if that, if that made any sense. Oh yeah, that made that makes babe, that makes perfect sense. And, um, okay, safe. thank God. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. And, and also, but that's, I know for as long as I know you, that you've always been busy documenting, like writing things down and making mm -hmm. theory and really analyzing movement and hip hop. And I wonder, um, do you, you know, when you say like, okay, it needs, maybe things need to be broadened or uh, look at different angles. Do you ever feel like, um, are you like criticized for that? You were glitching so much, but I think you said, do you ever feel like you're criticized for trying to like uh, create a broader like perspective? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because you're glitching super, like super, super much. And sometimes I don't hear your uh, voice. Uh, do I sometimes feel criticized? I think it, it's been like maybe like four times that I felt actually like criticized about it. You know, I've, I've had instances where I would say something online and I've like got calls from like OGs because people were complaining about things that I said online, which was really, really weird. <laughs> which was super yeah, strange. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but that, that kind of shows how how close minded sometimes it still can be like it's, it's becoming less and less because there's so many new generations coming up. But uh, yeah, I remember when I was just, I guess, saying what I believed, as opposed to people coming to me to talk about it, they literally just went to like, I guess, other pioneers and people and started talking to them. Uh, and one of the pioneers ended up calling me like on the phone, having this whole conversation about that the things that I said online uh, can be seen as offensive in a way, you know, which was, of course, it's nice that they called me, which is like super, super awesome and, and nice that it, they were open yeah. to like have a conversation with me and help me out, in a way, you know, but then on the other hand, it shows how, how, I don't know, um, I guess one protective people are, which is okay at times. But also, like, yeah, it's, it's just weird that yeah, people don't artists. want to, like, take... We're passionate about our shit. Yeah, definitely. So that was weird. <laughs> that was strange. But, um, yeah, besides, besides that, I don't feel very... Uh, 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 how to say that? Very, like, criticized. I do feel like 
it's hard to figure out what to do for myself. So how to like open, broaden the spectrum more and more because everything is uh, interpreted in a certain way. So maybe I'll do something with a certain reason, but then the second it comes online, it's interpreted in a completely different reason. Like that, that, that is a thing that to me kind of frustrates me at times because it's as if someone takes your words and completely like turns them around into something else that you was not talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And then they also have this assumption like, oh, this is what they mean and this is what they're about. And it's actually yeah, like, yeah, yeah. actually, you kind of read it all wrong. But uh, yeah. So then it's like, it's nice to know that people do. I love that, like that people feel a certain way and they actually called you on it. Mm -hmm. I think Wait, what was the last thing you, you that, said? That feel a certain people way? People feel certain ways and what I do appreciate is that, say, this OG felt a certain way and he called you. They called you on it. Yeah. And the fact that I, you know, I can relate as someone who pushes boundaries and I'm, I, I'm so for um, speaking up. And a lot of mm. youth, it's so hard to speak up, especially in our yeah. cancel culture. So yeah. in that sense of like, you, it takes nerve to speak up and go against um the masses and also yeah, and very, very. maybe even possibly against people that you respect and that have yeah. paved ways but at the same time i think it's so important for us youth or I'm, us i'm not so youthful anymore my personality stop is, but, stop <laughs> 25 but, 65 um, <laughs> right but um the fact that uh it's so important that we keep pushing you to open up your fucking mouth and it's okay to make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because okay. that's wow. what's been happening in the first place anyway, you know, to, to then change it. You know, it's, this culture has been a culture of open your mouth and start, stop, start talking, start dancing, start expressing the now, this moment. You know, that's what it's been. So, uh, uh, of course, persevering is really, 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 really important but also adding on and making sure that it's still your story uh, as well is so, so is, is, I don't know. I'm not going to say it's more important, but just probably just as important because otherwise we're, we're just going to lose it at a certain point. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Do you have any, um, cause I see one question and I kind of, I think I can tie it in. I, I'll tie it mm -hmm. into this conversation, Bobby. Um, not in right there. You know, like, Okay, so say, you know, you as an upcoming uh, trailblazer, basically, that's how we, what we call it in ballroom, we call it a, tra a trailblazer, you're paving the ways. Okay. I'll um, take it. <laughs> yeah, <I'll> take it. <laughs> um, as, and someone who's really, you were fucking young when you started traveling, like traveling, teaching. Um, mm -hmm. so I'm sure, you know, I can imagine an older generation, like going like, uh, you know, what the fuck is, who, what the hell's going on, and what is going, and who is this kid analyzing all our shit and and, and <laughs> changing the shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever uh -huh. <laughs> do you ever um, have, you know, now that you're you know growing up, do you is there dancers that remind yourself of you? Like, what do you think of the young young generation now that's up and coming? Uh, let me see. Well, I'm actually like very, very inspired by the young generation right now. Uh, yeah. Because there's like, there's so much uh, culture involved inside of their movements. It's really nice to see. Of course, we have uh, uh, our group over here in the Netherlands, our peoples over here, uh, Lutano, James, Pigeons, uh, Utrecht, and so on. And... Um, then you have France, you have uh, Kazakhstan, you have Japan, uh, the, the list goes on. What is really, really nice to see is that uh, everyone like is really working on their identity and it seems like people now are really moving from uh, where they come from. You know, whereas in my generation, there were a lot of people that were searching for what was the right thing to do. You know, like, okay, yeah. what, is, what is the right thing? Like, how should I do it? Should I do the bounce this way or should I do the bounce that way and stuff like that. And now, <laughs> That's a good uh, yeah, it's true. But now, like, like, what is even 
for me, like, what is Vogue and what is whacking? What the fuck is the difference? Oh, like, my God. How are we going to figure this out? You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was a thing. It really was a thing. But it was important, of course. And now what I see is I, I just see, like, people really putting their hearts and their life into the dance, even at, like, this, this, this new generation that grows up in battles. Yeah. But then still somehow finds their ways to to uh, figure out to have a conversation in battles. Whereas at a certain point for me in battles, the conversation was lost a little bit, especially in hip hop freestyle. You know, okay. the conversation, it was not a conversation anymore. It was more of a, I'm literally just trying to win this battle and trying to see if I can find the right moves for this moment, as opposed right. to this is actually what I do and believe. This is where it comes from. And that's why I'm doing it. And now I see that coming back. So, um, yeah, that, 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 that young generation inspires me sometimes even more than my own generation at this time. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah works. That's really, really good. Well answered. Going on to the next round. <laughs> yes. I like, I like the bell. Who, who came up with the bell? That's a nice. Right, well, I, I, really I wish had I had a bell at my office once, a random bell, and then... Mm -hmm. Everyone loved the bell, and then I didn't have the bell anymore. So then I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to get the bell back. Got to so. bring that bell back, I see. <laughs> I went and got my own. <laughs> if so. I knew, I would have gotten one myself. So, guys, if you have any questions, you can just throw them down. I'm going tr to try to get to them. And, um, yes. I'll look at what Leo Leo's writing a speech in here feel like some oh. of the frustrations also came from older generations who are like, why didn't I do that or think of that? Not only opened up to the practical movement side, but also theory. Ah, mm, I, I don't know. Because I know there's actually a, a lot of older gen, like many older generation dancers have already like figured a lot of this stuff out. You know, like they, 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 they have their ways, they have, and, and their ways work. And I don't feel like a uh, theorizing movement is, is like the thing to do. It was just something that was my expression and how I actually felt happy when I did it because I was able to, uh, to, to dance in more ways. I was able to dance with my body, my mouth by talking about it and then my mind. So I just like doing that, but I don't feel like it's something that is like necessary to grow or whatever. And in that same way, I don't think that, oh, geez, at least I don't feel like they ever were frustrated about me or anything. Better yet, I have mo had more support and more love uh, 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 and had many great conversations as opposed to, like, uh, bad feedback. The bad feedback mainly came more from my own generation as opposed to the previous one, honestly. Yeah. Wow. Gag now, generation Ow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So we're going to go on to our lifestyle questions. Ding, ding, ding. And those who have questions, you can just keep asking them, and we're going to see if we can get there. Well, I will get there. I'm getting All right. Let's uh, get Here we go. So we're going to lifestyle questions, babe. And let's put all the numbers in the okay. hats. Could you distinguish some names that you consider older generation and younger generation? Well, that's a good one. How, how old are you now? Wait, I, I, sorry, I didn't follow. Oh, damn, my, 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 uh, oh, don't I want to say my lyrics. <laughs> <What>? um, <coughs> I wanted to ask, um, shit, what was my question? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, how old were you again? How old am I again? I'm yeah. 26 right now. 20, you're 26 now. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Time flies. This is crazy. <laughs> what are you trying to say? What do you mean time flies? I'm no, young. Just because I just remember little Guppy is so little, you know, us at like after seven what sessions. Age? Us at after what? seven oh sessions. Oh my God. Us at se after seven sessions is also when I told her little nickname. We, we were a baby. That's... You were like. Is that 2009, 2010? Yeah, it must be like around that time, 2009. Man, so I was, I was 15, 16, 15. Yeah. Wow. 
that you That's are crazy. you were a little guppy yeah and <laughs> i'm honey i am now i'm gonna be 36 this year so it's crazy but um then the, the person who was asking the question well who is the older generation or younger generation well kevin's 26 so i guess everybody under 26 is the younger generation and everybody <laughs> you could say because like um for instance the younger generation that i'm talking about most of them right now are 18 so that's that's when a pretty big difference ah, okay. yeah because i i started dancing not hip-hop but i started dancing 20 years ago they wasn't born <laughs> so that's crazy yeah. if you think about it that way yeah yeah but people don't yeah. don't really see that because i look i look young and and then they might see me as like a younger generation which i am a younger generation of course but yeah not the youngest at this point not, the young, not young to you yeah exactly yeah, yeah. i totally get it. i have i can relate a bit i'm surrounded by young people and surrounded by my house, nice. my house kids mm -hmm. yeah, totally so i love it some people are like wait you're, you're so youthful but you're so wise what is it? oh i didn't hear you what did you say you said something about weird <laughs> oh yeah they're um they always they're like you're so um youthful but you're so wise so how old are you really <laughs> <laughs> they will never know no it's called my my house father well archie burnett always taught me amber fuck botox just dance it's lit. That's real. That's really <laughs> real. Yes. Fuck both that. Just dance. All right. So let's mm -hmm. go on to the next one. <laughs> Bing. Well, where would you like to travel? <laughs> if you could. <laughs> Japan. Always number one. Okay. Japan. Japan yeah, one? that's that's like yeah, always number one. I, I want to live in my city, Rotterdam. I cannot leave the city ever. Like, this is where I need to stay. Um, I don't know why. I, I guess I'm just, uh, what do you call it? A patri patriot? Is that what you call it? Or is that yeah. a wrong word? I don't know. Yeah, so I need to live in my city. But when it comes to traveling, Japan is always, like, number one on the place where I want to go. Because of culture, food, um, history, the 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 combination between uh, futuristic and nature is just a really nice place to uh, be inspired basically so yeah i That's haven't been i haven't been yet, <gasps> yet. no way not yet i, I would say yet. you gotta go but yeah maybe some other time <laughs> but actually like when it comes to like tickets, I, I, I always tell people if they want to go out, I always tell them like, yo, you know that the ticket price from at least the Netherlands is not even that expensive. Like it's pretty okay. doable. Because to go to, for instance, uh, Suriname, it would cost me about like 1200 To go to Japan, it's 500 euros. That's sorry? To How go to Japan, it would like, this? yeah, to go and back. All right, well, I'm going to make it a stop once all this chaos is over. <laughs> this nonsense is done, yes. What is your most annoying habit? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. What is my most? I, I, I almost want to ask my mom. She's right, right there, but let me figure it out myself first. Mom, mom, what's Kevin's most annoying habit? What is, what is Kevin's most annoying habit, mom? So, what crazy? I, I, she said himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I guess I am my most annoying habit. No, I, I think it's procrastinating. Yeah. Oh, she said yes. Wow. Let's she said yes, like very. Oh God. Okay. Cool. I think a lot of um. I think oh. a lot of dancers. I think creators yeah. in general can relate to. The art of procrastinating. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think any like creative ha can doesn't have to, but it's poss very possible, right? That is that that's yeah. the case. Yeah. Oh, I am a I am like queen of procrastinating. I hate it. Oh my god, I hate it so much. But I feel like I don't know. For me, it comes from this this. Uh, I have this weird 
type of focus for some reason. I don't know. My focus just shifts really, really, really quickly at some times. Yeah. You know, and yeah. then when my focus shifts, um, um, it, it takes, it, I need to like go full circle before I get back to the thing that I initially needed to focus on basically. And because of that, it takes some time, but honestly, like it's something that I really want to work on because, um, I, I have the creative mind, but now I need the, 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 the like, how, how do you say that? Like a path, a direction that's going to help me to make sure that this creativeness also uh, gets to a certain point where it needs to get to, as opposed to just, I guess, running in circles in a way, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Okay, I feel you. I, but I just feel like you do also do a great job, honey. But you talk about this journal thing where you write, you actually like put your thoughts about what you believe there. That's mm -hmm. huge. A lot of people don't. That's already a lot. <laughs> well, I've stopped doing that for a long time. <laughs> Did you stop doing that for but a that long has time? A, for a very long time, actually. But that has a different different reason. It's at, at a certain point, there was like so much information that I wrote down that I didn't, uh, wasn't able to, uh, I guess, do yet. Like, uh, the, the idea was there, but the movement wasn't there to back it up yet. So at a certain point, I just uh, wanted to like focus on being able to do it as well as opposed to just knowing about it. Yeah. So I started to shift my focus from writing a lot of ideas to just focusing on putting myself into the work and, and figuring out how I could like one, do it myself and then two, find a way to make it explainable for other people. Okay. So that was not really but it is something I want to go back to because it's been a long time. Are you thinking of publishing this one day? No. <laughs> um, well, okay. I am thinking of publishing it, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet because a lot of the uh, information that I wrote down are uh, a lot of like exercises and methods to make the body um, – let's say become you almost like working your body in a way that it is ready for anything in dance and in music. That is kind of what I've been trying to work out. So it's a lot of movement and a lot of, uh, uh, workouts you could say, as opposed to, uh, mindsets, the mindsets are there, but it's mainly, uh, let me see. I got, I got like, I got one here. Yay. Hey, check <laughs> it out. Find yeah, so this is one where I stopped. See, it's empty, <laughs> but that's okay. I got a few. Let me see if I can find anything that looks like nothing, so that you can understand why I don't know how to publish it yet. <laughs> uh, the law of rhythm. Uh, well, yeah, this makes no sense. There you go. Don't wait before I show this. Don't uh, uh, judge my writing. I always say I was made to write uh, to dance, not to write. So. <laughs> Oh, then you and me you, like yeah if you see this right here so these are all like basically shapes that i use inside of my body i can't explain it it's uh spirals that i work on down the body to make my body yeah. become more fluid and then this one right here which also makes no sense it looks like a um, brain. yeah it's like a, it's it's like spirals in a circle so it works like this basically Right. So oh, what okay. I would do is I would write down all these shapes and techniques and things, and I would just practice them so that the body was able to basically do whatever I wanted to do. And I wouldn't know how to write that down in like a book or something like that or publish it in a certain way yet. Yeah. You're uh, loading right now, so I can't see you. I also can't hear you yet. Can you hear me? Oh. oh no can you hear me hello i you went out for a second can anyone hear me but it ended with i hope they heard you but i think it ended it ended with the fact that basically it's just tough for you to figure out how to publish basically yeah. these thoughts <laughs> yeah exactly because i can i can really imagine that just writing like the techniques down is not really something you want to read about. Like, at least I wouldn't though. It's too boring. You know, that's not something you want to read. And I don't know yet how to like change it into a format where it's actually like something, I guess, I don't know, something that is universal uh, 
to read. So yeah. Yeah. One day. Well, when we'll I'm, see what the future. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what the future holds. But I don't know. I wouldn't wait too long, though. I wouldn't wait too long. I would. Daisy. Put, put it out there one day. Put it out there one day. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll. All right. Let's see. You know. Let's go on to. What does. I'm going to ask one about. Oh, do you sing in the shower? Hmm? Do you sing in do the I shower? Do I still what? Do you sing in the shower? Do I still shower? Sing, sing in the shower, in always. What? Always. Oh, Hell yeah. Yes. Right? It's healthy. <laughs> sometimes, like sometimes my mom does scream at me when I sing too much. So, yeah, I, scream, I, I sing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me about, because um, you mentioned um, food. Do you cook or order? Cook and order when I'm lazy, but I <laughs> cook. <laughs> well, well um, my mom cooks a lot also, but um, I really made it, made it uh, a thing, and I really see it as important to do it a lot with her and learn from her because uh, for me personally. Can I just applaud yeah. that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. For me it's 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 like um food is is like a, a heritage thing. I always I when I how do I explain this? When I came to the conclusion or the idea that uh if you are able to make food that for instance like your grandmother made, you are able to give a piece of her to like the next generation. So even though maybe she doesn't live anymore, your kids can let, literally literally taste what she has tasted in the past and that's crazy to me you know so that was that that's why for me food is is really important and kind of special and it's just lit yeah. who doesn't like food all right can i ask what are your roots what kind of things i'm half surinamese and half dutch uh -huh. very nice so this what is kind reason of i did a and your mother, huh? what, is she cook, what is she cooking at home? Like, what's your favorite dish from your mom? Oh, man, what's my favorite dish from my mom? Yeah, it has to be the okra soup. Okra so soup? It's, it's this, yes, yes. And that is the okra. first thing I learned to make because that's, that's just, like, literally, when I'm, when I'm, like, when I have my birthday and my mom asks me what I want to have, I always tell her the same thing. I want okra soup. Just, just make me the soup. Mom, just make me the soup just for me, and I'm happy. That's a good one. And you can make it, too. And clothing. Huh? And you can make it, too. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I can. Yes. Okay. All right. But it's a lot Very of work, nice though. Do you dance in the shower? <laughs> yep. I do. Yeah. I do. I don't like this. I don't like this question, but yes, I do. <laughs> right. <laughs> I do not like this question. Stop asking me questions about showers. This is enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I actually do. Like, I, 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 uh, if I have like new, in, new, a new idea, I'll like always write it like on the shower uh, door. And yeah. then I'll just try to figure out, do it like a few times so that it's in my body because otherwise I might forget. And oh my God, I hate forgetting something that I figured out so much. Yeah, I, uh, I can relate to that too. I, <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Like that's you just had a like writing, like... it, writing it in the shower. That's a great yeah. one because I have a lot of ideas in the shower. Mm -hmm. But then Write I, it. I, it's, it's, even if I just don't even write it in like just writing it on the thing, you're right. It when I write something down, it really helps me just like let it sink. Lock it in, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good one, very good one. I'm here. That's honestly, I never really thought about it about doing it. Like it, I, it was not a deliberate like choice. I just did it, so it's not yeah. like uh, yeah, that's yeah. Everything. What is this is what is polyrhythm? Oh, tell me. No. What is polyrhythm? No, I, 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 didn't, I didn't write that down. <laughs> that's not my, <laughs> that's not my field. Uh, so okay, I, I actually, I, I, I kind of do know what it is, but I don't want to like say that I know it completely. So um, what, what is his name? Uh, Damon Frost uh, told me about it. Polyrhythms is where you have 
um, one body part working with one rhythm and the other body part working with another rhythm, basically. So they wow. don't, they don't, and that's when you do that, when two things have a different pattern and a different rhythm in the body, they oh, call it a poly. Yeah. I don't know if that works with music also, I can't say, because I haven't looked into it, but it's probably the same in music. Yeah. Oh, that's some, like, some Brian Green shit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. honestly, I've never practiced that. Huh? I've, I've, I've honestly never practiced it myself, though. No? I no. Like it, it looks like I did, but I, I, I don't because I don't, see the, I don't see the purpose in my own body for it. Because, one, nobody's going to see it. If I'm going to do it, you're not, you're not really going to see it unless I, like, really deliberately, like, stand still and then say, okay, this is number one, then this is number two, and then this and that. Then it becomes a trick, so I don't – I never really cared about it. <laughs> Something like that, you know. So yeah. Yeah. I feel you. But it's fun. About, it's fun to test. It. Let's answer this last question before we go on to the challenge round. Mm hmm So fun. All right. The most recent video you dropped titled Heartfelt Dance was an incredible and intimate piece of yours. How did you convince mm -hmm. yourself to reveal it to the world? And how do you feel about it now? Now I'm curious. Bobby? Oh, God. No. Why are we talking about this? Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was... that was. Uh, yeah, I did. Something something that, that hit me really, really deeply because I was going through some sh <clears throat> some stuff. I was going through some stuff. Going through some and, stuff. <laughs> and... Uh, um, I, at, at the moment, I wasn't aware that it was going to hit me that deep when I was dancing. But then when it happened, um, I, I kind of blanked out. And then after, after it, when I looked back, it hit me so deeply that it became like a baby of mine. It was like something that I was scared to share with other people, knowing that they would look again at it different, you know? Like, whereas I, for instance see literally like all the emotions I was going through, they would just see the movements and say, oh, that was a good move, bro. When I'm like, yeah, I, I really don't care that it was a good move. Like, I really, really don't care right now. Yeah. This, this, this is my life, you know? And because of that, it became kind of, I, I was reluctant to, to even share it at a certain point because I just didn't want it to be stained with the, uh, the opinion of other people. Yeah. And he's asking how I convinced myself to reveal it eventually and how I feel about it. Um, what convinced me is that, it, to me, that moment was one of the closest things to what I want to be when it comes to dancing. And that doesn't happen quickly. Like, I often am not really satisfied with my movement or what I do. As, yeah, mainly, like, when it comes to battles, there is definitely not even one battle where I am satisfied. Uh, that is online right now that I'm satisfied with, which is okay. I'm not okay, hard on myself. True artist, I'm still... babe. I'm, I can totally, right? I totally relate. I don't watch it back. I don't even. Like, no. Well, I, okay. I do I do watch it back, but I I, I just cringe when I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, why I stop it. watching my shit back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. That's that's um. And this moment was so special to me that after like watch seeing it five times, I still felt related to it and I still felt that it was true. And it was a moment that would be timeless for me personally. Like, okay, this really is a point in my life. And it's a, a, like, I don't know. Yeah, a point in my life that is now visual because of movement. And so whatever I will think of it later, it will stay that way. So it's really special for me. And... Uh, I decided that I wanted to make sure that that was out there. Yay, we back, we back. <laughs> hey. Nice, there we go. You're laggy, really yes. laggy at the go. Ah. How does this work? Like, how do I get this lag on? Two. Dun, 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 dun. The next round. Oh, God. Yes, yes. Hello, hello everybody. Hello. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I can even do the comments. Hello. <laughs> and I don't, did we interrupt someone's question? I don't, I don't, I thought we just. Yeah, someone said that, it, so that um, we stopped during someone's question, but I, I thought we actually already ended it. So I don't know what happened. Oh, and um, I messed, I messed up. I couldn't, I couldn't save the live. There was like no save button. I know exactly like normally there's a save button. And when I ended it, yeah. like there was only a share button, but not a save button. Did you share it? I did. Okay, then maybe that's gonna be fine. I hope so, bye we'll bye. figure it out. Hi, hi. Nikisa. Sorry, I just had to say hi to someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it. no problem, say hi, say hi. All right, so guys, you can put in your last questions, put in your questions, put in your put in your questions. We're doing a little interview here. We've already gone through a couple rounds. We did the uh, lifestyle, we've done the artistic questions. We even did some icebreakers. And I even showed you guys what Kevin looked like when he was 16. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Please don't yeah. show him again. It was once was And was his cute little Nick. And I'm not going to say the nickname because you can only know the nickname if you watch the first live. Ow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. We're all going to go looking for it now, too, bitch. Watch. I see you. I see you. You want to know about your love life. And look at that. I'm going to not get too what? personal, guys. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't talk about my love life on the camera. So I'm not going to make Kevin do it either. Mm -hmm. All righty. We're going down Let's to go. the next part, which is the challenge. So, you know, I want to know, you know, most of the time, if you've seen the challenges parts, I make people do really crazy things from I haven't seen it. lips. Oh, we've done. So I made Steve. Steve uh -huh. had to lip sync from his. He lip synced for his life. Oh, God. Okay, cool. Yeah. So what does that mean so, for me? Okay. Yeah, he already did the lip sync for his life. I made Senna teach me how to put on eyeliner because she has a great liner. So very mm -hmm. random. Who else? Uh, Tamada. She stood. She had to do whacking with her feet and stand on her head. With her feet, I actually like that. That's lit. Okay. <laughs> she did it too. She did it. So now it's your turn. Oh Lidarchy. my god! <sighs> what are you gonna do to me? <laughs> so we have. Let's say, are you, do you like to write? Do I like to write? Uh, can, can I make rhymes? I'm terrible. <laughs> Great. I'm actually this terrible. This one's going to be number seven is going to be a terrible song that you have to make up. Okay. Okay, <laughs> cool. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> red on his face. Look at the face. Oh, no. <laughs> That's oh no. That he has okay. To okay, cool. This one is going to be your favorite dish. So mm -hmm. this is your, you like, you said that Look you like face. okra soup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like okra soup. Mm -hmm. So. You have to come up with a dance mm -hmm. about okra soup. Okay, I can do that. My my head is like <laughs> doing so much right now. Right? Okay, cool. So we have okra soup. Let's go. And a song about okra. A That's song about okra. Oh my. <laughs> okay, cool. I got this. I got this. I already got my pen. Right? You got this. And then the third one. The third one will be a portrait of okra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like oh, no. Okra. Yeah? Oh, he likes no. okra soup, guys. He likes okra soup. I so, do like okra soup a lot. Let me see. Here we go. 
Is it going to be an okra song? Is it going to be an okra dance? Or is it going to be a lovely self-portrait of him holding okra? Wait, I have to make a self. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I cannot. Nakisa, if I get the one where I draw myself, get out. <laughs> Nakisa so is really good at drawing, so I don't want her to see my bad drawing. <laughs> I'm really curious, because now I really actually want to see all of them, but, you know, we have to choose one. <laughs> nah, we don't got time for that. Would you, rather see? would you rather see Kevin sing a song about okra? Do it number one. If you would rather see him... Do a dance okra. It's number two. And if you, you want to see him draw a self-portrait of him loving okra, it's number three. <laughs> okay. What do you want to see? Do you want to see a dance? Yeah, so I see. Oh, someone wants to see number two. Oh, we have two number twos. Really want to see an okra dance. They all want to see you dance. Ah, see, someone wants to see the portrait. Number three. Okay. Ninja. Oh, there's three. Th there's two threes. Oh, four. Okra dance. Oh, three. Oh, three. Okay, we're neck to neck. Oh, five. Uh, two. Dance. One, one. Dance. Two. Dance. Everybody's choosing dance. I was really Save looking. I was really looking forward to... I was looking forward to the, okay, now now let's check. How many, let me see. Nikisa's lying, she's right. putting up the three more times. <laughs> between two and three, Oh, yeah. God. All right, then let's just put it in here. Two and three, it's between two and three. I like the one. The sing singing a song about okra would be so much fun. Okay, we have number seven is going to be a dance, and we have number 16, that's going to be the drawing. Okay, cool. Uh, you're, uh, I can't see you at, at this point. Or, well, I can yeah. see you, but I literally see a blurs. Guys, I got number 16. <laughs> oh, God. I, 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 I'm... I can dance while drawing. That's also nice. Wait, okay, how do I <laughs> dance while drawing? <laughs> I'm down to do that. It's a little beat. Oh, okay, I got something here too, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna put on some music for you. Oh, okay, I have music also. Oh, you can put on the music, that's probably better. I, I really like this, guys. I'm really excited for this one. I think this one's going down in the books. We Wait. are. So am I dancing and drawing at the same time now? <laughs> is, that what, is that what's happening? So basically what's going to happen is you're going to attempt, you know, there's no, there's, I'm sure it's beautiful. Attempt to draw. You can also, if it's either a self-portrait of you or you can do one of me, that's fine. Okay. Um, but but with, <laughs> with okra or a character, like a character of okra. How about the okra man? I'll do the okra man, I guess. <laughs> what is gonna yeah, be okay, so, all right, perfect. So the your job is to draw the okra man and then we're both gonna do the okra dance. Oh, okay, so you don't want me to, you don't want me to dance at the same time. If you can, that'd be great. It will, it will be terrible, but I can try. It, I mean, it, it sounds like it's a really hard and terrible challenge, and both of them will fail, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> that's true. That is true. That is true. Well, I'm ready for it, for the Okra Man. The, the dance is called the, the Okra Man, I guess. The do the Okra Man. But it's, it's going to be really hard to dance... A, a dance about okra and draw at the same time. That is okay, impossible. So how about you just draw it? How about you draw it and then okay. we'll celebrate with a little okra dance? Because I don't know. I really want to learn the okra dance now and I don't even know what the hell it is, but I'm sure you'll make it fun. But please make it I'm terrible. 
I'm super You're bad it at now. Are you drawing it? Your time starts now. Oh shit! Time. What time? You yeah. didn't talk about time. Your time starts now. Well, you don't have. You didn't explain the rule. You have only. You get one minute. One minute. Your time starts now. What is happening? <laughs> so, guys, if you're just joining us, uh, we are during the, the the we're in the challenge round. Yes, with Kevin Paradox. And his challenge is to draw the okra man. We talked a little bit earlier in the first live, like, and apparently his favorite, like, food, he loves okra soup. So that's fantastic. Okra soup. Look at him concentrate. He's working so hard, showing us all those special talents that we just had no idea about. I don't... You know, I, <laughs> I I'm do not have a talent for Kevin. this. Stop that. <laughs> I'm stalling. This is terrible. <laughs> oh, no. Why are you not doing this to me? Dance. You never know, kids. Maybe he's going to be the next big artist. And this okra man will be Dude. something, you know, years from now, we can post, we can put online, we can <laughs> auction it off. And, you know, this, all the funds for this okra man are going to change the world. <laughs> you literally destroyed my whole chance for a career right now. <laughs> Any career in drawing, it's, it's done. No. Like, that's not going to happen. Luckily, I'm not going to draw, so that's, that's good. Well, I think you should always draw. And I think drawing is really healing for the soul. And I'm so, I think Okra Man is going to be very special to a lot of people. Yeah. The Okra I, Man. I'm so curious. I wonder if he's going to be happy or sad or he must be happy because he's Okra Man. I wonder if he has a special power. He must be very uh, slimy, this Okra Man. The Okra Man must be very slimy. No, he's not. He's not going to be slimy because if you use the right uh, ingredients, the the okra doesn't become slimy. Look at that! So he knows his ingredients, guys. He knows how to cook <laughs> the okra. He's coming up with the okra man as we speak. The concentration. My, is it's my minute gone. Like, oh, this is terrible. This is like legit terrible. I'm gonna make him cry because I know he's not happy with what he looks like. Oh, he's cry in a cry. Well, oh, should teach him about self love. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Yes, kids, the okra man. Oh yeah, and that's true. Definitely, terrible. we would definitely like to know the okra soup recipe, mom. Mom's in the back, mom. The, the, my mom is the not going to give that to you. Oh, she's. Not I can tell you that right now. Like she, she has this thing where every time she gives me a new recipe, she tells me to not tell anybody. Or kill. All right. Well, is there? Or, you said kill or like, kill. <laughs> what is it? There's a secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. Yeah. Okra recipe. Yeah. Well, like basically, every recipe I get from her is is it's like a secret. I can't tell anybody. Every single all time. All right. Well. Well, lion B wins. Why and be with honey? I tried. I tried. I hear you. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna have another. You have one. Let's see. Thirty seconds left or something. Thirty seconds oh, yeah. left. I mean, if I... you're just joining us, guys, Kevin is now busy drawing because we're showing. This is the challenge round. I've challenged him to draw his favorite food, and it is. The okra. okra man. Yeah, the okra. Okra, okra man. Well, at first I said make a portrait of yourself holding okra, but maybe yeah. that's a bit too advanced. <laughs> well, this However, like this this is already not working. For, this is the funniest. Are you wow. are gonna, wait, wait, are we doing a reveal, guys? Wait. Oh god. Okay, guys. All Nakisa right. needs to leave this his chat. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm so excited, guys. We're back. Kevin has just finished the masterpiece of the challenge. And 
he, you know, he says that he does not draw, but I'm sure he's going to like blow our minds, guys. And he also is calling Okra Winfrey. Oh my God. Okra was nasty. Honestly, honestly, Kevin, I do have something I must admit. Uh huh. I also, like, when I was growing up, I had a big problem with okra. That was the one thing I would literally be the kid, like, putting, spinning all the okra in a napkin and then, like, hiding it. And one time, I will tell you, uh -huh. like, a horrible story. I thought I was being very clever, and I, I spit all the okra in, the, in a, a glass of milk, thinking I could, like, get away. Yeah. Well, I just thought, like, the napkin thing's not going to work. So then I was like, okay, how do I be clever with this? So I think I was, like, maybe seven, six or seven. But I remember uh -huh. I... I, I they made me eat the okra and I, I, they watched me eat it. And then I pretended to sip the milk and I was like, <laughs> and I put all the okra in the milk and uh -huh. it was disgusting. And then my parents, um, they wanted to let me think I was clever. So at the end of dinner, when I was like, okay, I'm all done. They're like, great. So now drink your milk. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That is, that is, that is probably the dirt, the na wow, the nastiest thing I've ever heard. That's, they that's really bad. They made me drink the milk. Wow. They, they, they made me do it. So I have, a, I have a, a bad relationship with okra. <laughs> Dang. You, you held, you held onto that for really long though. Like you didn't tell us, like. I would have, that would have been the first thing I would have said if I would have told you, like, oh, yeah, okra is the thing I, I, I love. I would have been, okra? Okra? Really? Yeah, I, I wanted to, like, give you space and room to tell your story. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. That's, that's what an amazing uh, interviewer does. Uh, wow. You know, it's about you. But I was like, well, but you're busy. And I have that. this moment is going to change my thoughts about okra. Uh huh. It did. Wow. Well, that's we'll amazing. Find out. So, guys, it's time. Drum rolls. Drum rolls. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Sorry. Drum rolls. Here we go. And drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody who lies outside or in between that spectrum, the time is now. Are you. Like You're glitching, video. like literally, right? Oh. You're glitching. No. Yes, no. you are. I'm here. Okay. Yeah, we're back. Okay. I'll stop. Yeah, we're back. You. Are you ready? No, but yeah. Please. Do the reveal. Please reveal us the artwork. The challenge was <laughs> to make okra. And now, oh. the reveal, Mr. Okra, by, oh, look at you. <laughs> look. Guys. It's Okra it with me. <laughs> it's, oh, what does it say? Everybody gets. Everybody okra. gets Okra. <laughs> Everybody gets Okra. Wait, one more time, closer. This is adorable. This look is terrible. You. <laughs> look how cute he is. Hello, Nikki, stop. stop, Nikki says, stop. Is that so cute? Is that hair on his head or what is that? It's Oprah Winfrey's hair. <laughs> it's Oprah Winfrey. It's Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. Do you have any tattoos? Because this would be a great one. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I want I like the keys to stop laughing. <laughs> oh I no. Love it. I definitely feel like I you know, as much as it you know, I don't want to throw any shade at my last contestants or my last interviewee interviewees. 
I don't know what <laughs> their word for that. But I definitely feel like this was the best challenge. I feel like you, <laughs> you really, you did great on this challenge. Stop, stop. Yeah, guys, oh, this is okra. That was an okra. I well, it was an okra with hair. Yeah, and, and, and looked like okra. Thank God. You, you were selling yourself short. I knew it, see? I knew it, guys. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> well, I guess, well, is there any last question? Because we'll take, I'll take one last one before we wrap it up and carry about our lives. Going once, going twice, going three times. Ten, nine, eight. Do I see anything? Six, five, four. Or, or did I have to scroll up or something? I was checking, but there's, no, there's nothing now. Yes. Oh. All right, guys. Well, I think everybody's, you know, in the okra spirit. <laughs> in the okra spirit. <laughs> Where's my, wait, oh, Nikisa has a question. Let's see. The question is to you, yeah. <laughs> what, is, what is the question to me? What's the question to me? Uh, I have a question. Where is my Senna Wing Challenge prize? Ah, uh, yeah. Did you win the prize? <laughs> sure. Send me your address, and I'm going to send you an eyeliner provided by NYX Cosmetics. Ow. Um. Right? Hey, come on, sponsorship. Oh. Kevin, would you eat an okra milkshake? Uh, no. Absolutely. <laughs> wait, wait. No, probably not. I was trying to think because I'm on this healthy tour and I'm trying to like do like healthier things. But I think that is a bit too extreme. Like, that is a bit no. extreme. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't want to change my relationship with okra from something of love and happiness to something of disgust. Yeah, I, I, I completely get that. And especially, you know, we wouldn't want to disrespect Okra Winfrey at all. <laughs> we wouldn't. We really wouldn't. She has done so much for us. <laughs> all right. Well, shit. Guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in and joining us on this. Well, basically, I feel like it's me and Kevin's reunion because we haven't it spent is. much time or seen each other. Right. So I wish I could have done an interview nice with, you. with you the other way Sorry. around. It was really nice, yes. I said I wish yeah. I could have done an interview with you on the, like the other way around also. Why does everybody say that? No. Does everyone say that? Yes. Oh, damn. No, I, no, I don't feel, damn. Okay, yeah, well, never mind. But no, I don't feel, yeah. Oh, was that just a lime? <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Well, babe, I wish you, like, a lot of safety and good health. Thank you. You too. Stretch. Stay safe out there. Take care yes, of resistant <laughs> bands, absolutely. And thank you so much for this nice little uh, uh, reunion. It was really nice. It was fun. Yeah, definitely. All right, babe. We'll hope to see you soon in the flesh. And Absolutely. Vulcan here. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, I All see right, you. Babe. Okay. Save the lives, huh? Save it. Thank you, uh, guys. Yeah, oh, so actually you can't save lives anymore. I just saw that. But it will be fine. Share the lives. Yes, we'll do. No, Thank I won't. Nobody will ever see Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, we need Oprah. We need Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> no. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Peace.